Welcome to the Common Patriot. Today, I'm taking my wife out shopping on a little date. Brianna just got her concealed carry permit, and so we need to go pick out a new carry gun for her. Not a new carry gun, a carry gun. My first carry gun. And have you actually ever bought a firearm before? I don't think I have, actually. <laughs> I've used a lot. How long have we been married? He's never bought me a gun is the real. That That is true. Well, I've, I've never bought you a gun since we've been married. How many have you bought me? Probably a lot. Probably. Um, good to see you here. Good to see you here. All right. So take it away. Get this lady hooked up with a concealed carry gun. I'm just going to throw a couple of them out here. What we're going to do is you're going to put a few in your hands today. Okay. Frame size, how does that feel in your hand? That feels good. So the first gun was the P365. 365, SIG. SIG. And then you got the, Max. Well, that's the new Max 9 from Ruger. Ruger's in that Max 9. It's okay. just released. Sweet. I like how light this is. It feels very balanced in my hand. Okay. That's what we're going for. We're going for feel. Yeah. Okay. Now let's try another one from a different manufacturer. Let's try Springfield Armory. Okay. Oh, this is a Hellcat. Oh, this is another one. This kind of took the market by storm. That's the first high capacity carry weapon that was out here. So okay. it'll hold up to 13 rounds. This one's very light. Feels pretty good too. I've got one more to show you. And this is the Smith & Wesson's introduction to a larger capacity carry gun too. They've taken their shield and they have made this into a larger capacity. So we have stepped up from eight rounds or nine rounds, depending on what mag you run, into a 13 round capacity magazine. I'm gonna eliminate these two because I don't, this doesn't feel as good with on my grip as these styles. Erin, I can tell you if she doesn't like it, she'll never shoot it. So we should that's, probably move on to that. that that's different. true, that's true. And I wanted to get out Am and Am I eliminating all the, all the good ones? <laughs> no, no, actually, you still got a couple. If you don't buy them, I might. <laughs> Functionality-wise, you like the Ruger and the Springfield. Mm -hmm. They're probably the smallest two out of the bunch. I can thank you. Hey, this is this is your gun purchase. It's up to you. There's really no disadvantage or advantage to them. So what you're doing is truly you're going for feel. All right, I think the Ruger Max Nine is the one. Ruger Max Nine is a very good choice. We got out to the range, and what are we gonna do? We're gonna try out my new gun. All right, well, I got some magazines loaded up for you, so you get to have all the fun, I guess. You already shot it, didn't you? <laughs> I did. <laughs> Ridiculous. You're going to start with the small carry mag, huh? Yep. Okay. hit my stake, my 2 by 4 You know how much that 2 by 4 is worth right now? Like as much bucks. as the ammo? <laughs> yeah, about that bad, yes. Okay, so I'm going to call your targets for you, alright? Okay. You're going to have to listen to me. Left target. Left target again. See what happens when you tell me what to do? <laughs> <laughs> how many mags do you think you need to go through today? I don't know, I haven't shot in a while, so I'm a little rusty. Would you believe that I have the same problem sometimes? You have no excuses though. Before you get that magazine all loaded up here, because we got limited ammo, you know, I mean, I got to cut you off at some point here. This all right. I did something that you didn't know about. Shot my gun. Well, I did shoot your gun. I also cleaned it for you, Thank you know, you. but no, what I did while you went off shopping for the boys while we were up at Reed's, I may have picked up your other two, two guns you were looking at. Oh, you did. Would you like to try the other guns and see what you think of them? Yeah, let me put one more, a couple more rounds through this one and then I will. Did you hear what I said about ammo? Yeah. Here we go, I got the guns out of the truck. I thought you said you got two. Did you get three? Well. I got your two, and then uh, I couldn't help it. I had to pick up another one. You got a lot done in that time I was gone. Well, I kind of had it pre-planned. As soon as you left, I just got it done. You pre-planned something.
crap. Now she knows. So your other top two picks were the SIG 365 XL and the Springfield Hellcat. Yes. And then I also thought, well, even though you threw out the Shield Plus right away, I really had to shoot that gun. So you got that one too? Well, I haven't bought that one yet. I actually picked that up from my brother, Steve. But I brought it out here today so you could try it out. And then I'll probably call Reeds and tell him, hold one of those Shield Plus for me. Let's try them out, see what you think of those since we've got them here. And then I can change my mind if I decide I like these better, right? <sighs> yes, yes you can. Let's see what you think. First one up, P365 from SIG. Man, that sounded loud. <laughs> was that loud without your plugs <laughs> That was a little in? loud. I was like, dang, that's louder than the last one. I how that one felt too. You shot that one pretty well, didn't you? Yeah. All right, next one on the table. That was my fourth place, or third place. That was you your wanna... third place, yep. Third place elimination, but that felt pretty good. That felt pretty good, you shot yeah. it well. Now you're up to the Hellcat. That one felt good too. What I liked about this one is the sights are very easy to see and they really jump out at you. Yep. So On it the helps, Hellcat. Yeah, with the Hellcat. It helps with the quickness of it. I agree. Yeah. I like that too when I may or may not have shot that before you came out here. Yeah. Helps you get on the target. So this was your fourth option yeah. and that's the Smith & Wesson Shield Plus. felt really good too actually okay so let me try my Ruger Max 9 again because I'm just planning to get more comfortable with shooting the first hundred rounds was just getting oh comfortable. I shot like 10 times <laughs> ten, 10 times per mag 10 times I just had to get comfortable. After you got warmed up, I definitely don't want to get on your bad side. You were ringing some steel there. Well, so what do you think? Are you going to stick with the Ruger Max 9 once you had a chance to shoot all these different guns out here on the range? Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with it. My The one thing that I like the Hellcat better with is the sights are easier for me to pick out and see. Um, so. Well, that is something only... we can rectify because the Max 9 does have uh removable sights it's a dovetail site so we can get you an excess site or something like that a trinium site so that you have a nice color back there that you're wanting so yeah that'd be sweet so she's sticking with the ruger max 9 as long as i get her a different back sight if you're not already a common patron subscriber please subscribe to the channel right up here and remember you're a common patron so be bold be strong and don't ever give up we'll see you next time god bless <laughs>